Hey everybody, Bearded Servant back. And today I'm in my garage and it's pretty warm, but I wanted to get a couple of vertical watch stands made and I'm gonna show you how I do it. That way if you'd like to uh, make your own because your collection's getting too big and uh, you wanna make a little more room and have that room go up, then uh, this video might be for you. So I'm using pine that I picked up at Lowe's, three different sizes. Uh, the first is the base. Uh, this is just half inch thick by uh, six inches wide and then you just cut it to the length that you want for your base. The vertical piece is only uh, four inch wide by three quarter inch thick and in my case it's 15 inches tall. And then the last pieces I'm using, uh, I've already cut all these, the last piece I'm using is, is that two inches? Maybe it is, two inches wide by three quarter inch thick and I made them three inches long for the arms that will hold the watches. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. So the tools you're gonna need for this pro little project is a saw, I'm using my little, uh, little, I say little, it's not little, but it's little for um, a lot of these different types of saws. Uh, my Porter Cable uh, chop saw, and it has a laser on, it's just not plugged in at the moment. Uh, I also used my square, speed square, to uh, draw the lines I need. Uh, a drill to be able to drill the screws into place and drill your holes, your pilot holes for the screws so that your wood doesn't crack. Uh, and in this case, I'm using a very small drill bit. I, what is this, 3 30 seconds drill bit. And then um, the number six wood screws from Lowe's that will hold my little arms on tape measure and a uh, sander. I mean, I just used a little power sander. It went really fast. I was able to sand all the edges pretty quick. Okay, so step one, of course, is to cut your base. Uh, I have three of these. One's actually already done. I have it in, in my watch case. I'm not sure if I'm going to stain them yet, but step one is going to be to cut your base. My base in this this project is going to be eight inches long, so I use my chop saw to cut that. Then, to cut your vertical uh, holder, basically, what's going to hold your watch arms or the arm, the wooden arms, in place that you put your watches on. In my case, this one is 15 inches tall. And then, you're, depending on how many little arms you want, will depend on how many little blocks that you. Cut. So I uh, I have cut five just because of the height of the inside of my curio cabinet is 16 inches. So so step two is going to be basically measuring out where you want your vertical piece to go on your base. Marked two holes, drilled two screw or put two screws in through the wood. Came to the top and screw them directly into my vertical arm. That's step two. Okay, step three is gonna to be to put your watch arms uh, in place. So I like to go um, about, and I want, I'd like to start about an inch up, only because uh, you have to have room for your band, you, whether it be a metal bracelet or a uh, silicone band, poly, whatever your watch is made of, leather band, uh, to fit underneath. So once I get uh, approximately about an inch up, probably more of, more of three quarters of an inch up. Try to get it right in the middle, about three quarters of an inch up, and that in the middle of the board here and in the middle going down. Just put a little mark. We got our mark and now I'll drill a hole in this and attach the arm. Now, if you don't drill the pilot hole, 
there's a, I mean, you can still put it, get it together, but there's a good chance that the wood may crack at some point. Now you can also use wood glue to glue these on. I prefer just using a screw because I'm gonna have some heavy watches on these, uh, these little watch arms. So uh, I like to use uh, the screws to make sure that it stays in place. Or you could use both. You could use a screw and wood glue if it makes you feel better. cool thing about this is it doesn't have to sit completely straight you can actually with the screw see if you if you use just the glue then you can't turn it with the screw you could actually make it lean back so that your watch face will be facing up towards the person as they're looking at your display so you could use this in your house or you could use it of course in a expo or anything like that so I'm using them in the house for now, and if I uh, get approved for an expo uh, then uh, to show off my collection, then I'll have some um, watch stands. So I'll be back once I get all these on. And there you have it, folks. A vertical watch stand. There's one screw in each of the arms that will hold the watches up. And you can put them straight or you can have them turned like that. I actually think I'd prefer to have them like this. That way you can get a better view of the watches when they're in the case. You can use two or three screws at the base. Uh, I might put another one in. but So yeah, that's it. Choose your stain and uh, make it pretty. All right guys, so I am using Minwax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain, Honey number 272. I got that at Lowe's when I made my large TV stand slash electric fireplace stand. You can actually see that video if you go a little ways back in my videos. I think I did that last year. But this is the before. That is the after with the stain. And I may end up going over it one more time. I'm not sure. But I'm uh, going to do the other one. Alright, so this is the last part of this video. Showing the watch stands completed with five watches on each stand and they fit perfectly with about an inch to spare. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Uh, hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July holiday, and we shall see you again next time. God bless.